What's up, my people? This is Showbiz or Don't. All right, man, look. All right, man, look. Shocking news, okay? They have recording of Eddie Hearn and Dillian White in the before the post press conference of Dillian White and Oscar Rivas fight. They are discussing the drug test. Before I read the transcript, I want to say this. I want to say this. We're going to have to be careful in how we interpret the transcript. But with that said, regardless of whose side you're on, we have to be on boxing side first. I say this all the time. I am a bigger fan of boxing than I am of boxer. And after the tragedies that occurred with Mad Max Maxim and Hugo passing away, there has been a movement to ban the sport of boxing that's stirring up and building now. Okay. Right now we're in fragile times. Kind of how the NFL uh, was in a fragile place after Junior Seha committed suicide after being a, a professional football player in the NFL and suffering humongous headaches that he couldn't take anymore. We're in that type of period right now after the two tragedies. So when approaching and handling and thinking about this failed drug test with Dillian White and Eddie Hearn, knowing that he failed the drug test pre-fight and allowing the fight to go on. We're going to have to be careful on how we interpret this transcript and how we move forward because we're going to have to be on boxing side first. Let's read the transcript. This is what it says. This is Dillian White. He says, F in hell. Eddie Hearn says, all right, mate, asking, are you okay? Dillian White says, effing hell in it. Jesus Christ, bruh. I haven't slept at all in the last couple of days. Eddie Hearn says, nor have I. But I didn't have to fight. Dillian White says, F sake. Eddie Hearn says, mate, that was the miracle of all miracles, wasn't it? Dillian White says, that's the difference between being a professional. Eddie Hearn says, I had everything. I had a statement for you ready to go. He just phoned me up and was like, we did it. And I was like, oh. Dillian White says, I need to keep my hair for some reason. It's an effing stitch up. I passed two tests in two days and then one in a million. I want you guys to be careful on how you interpret that transcript. Obviously, they're talking about the test and they're talking about that it's a one in a miracle, one in a million miracle that he passed. Eddie Hearn was discussing a guy who phoned him and informed him. Eddie Hearn already had a statement prepared for Dillian White. Now with the A sample failing, a lot of things are starting to come up now, and it's the B sample that's going to confirm everything. But this is what we know. We know that they already knew. Dillian White said he has to keep his hair. It's a stitch up. These are very, very confusing statements by them both. And I want you guys to interpret it how you wish. Please let me know. And this community, I think we need to have, have respect for each other. Comment below and help each other out on how you interpret it. This is how I see it. Dillian White knowingly was doing something illegal. Okay? As far as the drug testing. He failed for steroids. The A sample did. He was, according to the transcript, it seems as though he was pretty for certain that he was going to fail and not be able to fight. Another thing I'm getting from Eddie Hearn is that priority one 
was to allow to, the fight to happen. That was priority one. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As more news come out, we will discuss it. But I want to say one thing. Let's be careful about choosing sides and try to put boxing ahead of it all because they're trying to ban our beloved sport. Show biz don't. Stuff like this doesn't help. But what it does help, though, is raise awareness and help clean up our sport. And that's why I'm covering it. I'm out.